Hey man, hopefully everyone out there is doing amazing today. It's a beautiful day out here. So I just want to go ahead and record this quick video. So this is going to be part three on how to start your oversize and over with permitting agency. So if you guys haven't seen part one or part two, only thing you have to do is just go back to my previous videos that I posted on YouTube and go check out part one and part two. And, um, you know, learn how to actually start an oversize and an over with permitting agency just because it's a very lucrative business. You could use it as additional income, a side hustle, or you could use it as a business that you really want to grow, you know, and that you can actually scale up. So today we're going to cover part three. We'll have about five parts, you know, in this whole actual uh, segment of these videos to teach you guys how to actually start that oversize and over with permit, uh, permitting agency. So let's just do kind of more like a recap, part one and part two. So I've already discussed, you know, what pretty much qualifies a load to be uh, considered an actual oversize and an over with load. So I'm talking about the length, the weight and the height, you know, so that was in part one. Also, I talked about the different types of trailers, you know, that will haul these actual uh, oversize and over uh, with loads. So those are going to be your flatbed trailers and your step deck trailers and also your RGN trailers. Also, I talked about how to form an actual limited liability company, LLC, so you guys can actually uh, get that legitimate business up and running so that you guys can actually start operating that oversized and over with permitting agency. I covered a little bit about marketing and advertising uh, and I left off uh, covering networking. You know, so basically networking with other freight brokers, with dispatchers and truck drivers out there. So if you guys, like I say, want to check out part one and part two, just go back through uh, some of my previous videos and go check out part one and part two. If this is your first time actually uh, tuning in to uh, this um, actual segment of videos on how to start your actual oversize and over with permitting agency. So I'm just going off my cell phone, off my notes right here. So today we're going to cover what information is needed from trucking companies. So for you guys out there that's actually starting these oversized and over with permitting agencies, I'm going to let you guys know what information to get from the actual trucking company so that you could get these oversized and over with permits. So what I would recommend is draft up, you know, an actual document, you know, with all the critical information that I'm about to put out right now. So whenever a trucking company do call you and say, hey, can you get some oversized and over with permits for me? You could just shoot them this actual document with all this information that I'm about to cover right now. They'll fill it out, send it back to you. And then whenever you're applying for those oversized and over with permits, you could just go straight off your paper and it'll be too easy. So what you're going to need from that trucking company, you're going to need the company's name, their MC number, their USDOT number, you're going to need that trucking company's uh, truck and trailer VIN number. So whichever truck and trailer that they're using to actually haul that oversized load, you're going to need that VIN number. You're going to need the license plate number for both the truck and the trailer. And then you're also going to need to know the truck and the trailer uh, weight, you know, their axle weight. So we're talking about the steer axle, the drive axle, and then the actual trailer axles. So get all of those uh, weights, you know, for their axles because that's going to be critical information. You will need that when you're uh, applying for those oversized and over with permits. And also get that trucking company's EIN number and also um, get the combined vehicle weight with the load. So let's just run back through it again. The company's name, MC number, the USDOT number, the EIN number, the truck and the trailer VIN number, license plate number for both the truck and the trailer, the truck and the trailer axle weight for the steer axle, for the drive axle, and for the trailer axles, and then get the combined vehicle weight with the actual load. Also, let's talk about how to actually get the permits. So what you're going to do, it's pretty simple, you know, so what you're going to do is just go to Google and then search oversize over with permits in whatever state that you're actually applying for those permits in. So let's just say, for example, your driver right now is in the state of Pennsylvania and that driver needs to get to Illinois. 
So that load's gonna pick up in Pennsylvania and then it's going to drop off in Illinois. So the way to get these permits, it's easy. Only thing you have to do is go to Google, type in oversized, over with permits in whatever state that you're in. So we'll say oversized and over with permits in the state of Pennsylvania, starting out. So right when you uh, Google search that, more than likely it's gonna be the first link or the second link that's going to pop up and then it should be a .gov. So the only thing you're going to do is open that up and then it's going to say oversized and over with permits. And then only thing you have to do is click on that states on the website and click on oversized and over uh, oversized and over with permits. And then it's just going to be all self-explanatory. You're going to input all of that company's information in pretty much what I just covered. So that's why it's very critical for you out there uh, who for you guys out there who um, is planning on starting this actual oversized and over with permitting agency to get all of that company's information because once you get on that website for that state to apply for that oversized and over with permit you're already going to have that information you know so it's going to make your life that much better you know so um like i said make sure that it's a .gov website too make sure it's not a .com if it's as long as it's a .gov 99% of the time it's going to actually go to their state website, you know, so that you could get, you know, um, directly to where you need to get to. So whenever you get on that actual website, it's going to have you create a new account. So it's going, so it's going to have you create that new account, but you're not putting in your information. You're putting in all your trucking companies information. So make sure that you write down and you have some type of system in place so that you're saving all the usernames and passwords too, you know, for that trucking company. Have some type of database because what you're doing is creating an actual account for that trucking company. So you have to create the username and the password. So let's just say, for example, you've already created that username and that password and you, you, you have already, you know, created that account for that state. So the next time when that trucking company call you and say, hey, um, can you give me some oversized and over with permits? And then as long as, and let's just say, it, especially if it's out of a state that you have already created an account for, you don't have to go through that first initial process with inputting all the company's information. You just need to make sure that you have that username and that password on file. So whenever you just say if that company want to go through Pennsylvania again with an oversized load and they say, hey, can you get this load for me? Only thing you have to do is just log in with the username and password, input the load information and bam, you got your actual oversized or over with permit, you know, a little bit faster than previously. The first initial time will take a little bit more time to get that permit because you actually have to create the uh, account. So let me see what else I want to cover today with you guys. Uh, where are we at now? So how long does the process take? So it's going to take you anywhere from about 10 to 15 minutes per state. So of course, that's not a long time when we're just talking 10 to 15 minutes per state. So let's just say it's four states and might take you anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour to actually knock out that company's oversized permits. But once I get to how you get paid, you guys are going to be making good money per hour. And also the process and time, uh, it varies, you know, depending on the actual states. Some states is what they call self-issuing states. So basically if it's a self-issuing state, that means right when you actually apply for that oversized permit right when you completed the actual application it's going to let you uh download that permit inst instantly so that's what they call a self-issuing state now not all states are self-issuing i love states when they're self-issuing because that mean right when i complete that application i can instantly download that actual oversized permit forward it out to my driver and i'm good to go now some states um basic some states you have to wait to get that actual permit approved, you know? So some states, I know for example, like Tennessee is a state that you have to wait until the actual state uh, approves that permit. And that could take up to 24 hours. So I hate 
um, states like that that could take up to 24 hours before you can actually get your uh, oversized or over with permit, you know, via email, you know, uh, PDF download. So I know for a fact, Indiana is a self issuing state and they'll just issue out that permit pretty much instantly. So there's going to be different states that's going to operate differently when it comes to self issuing or when it comes to them having to approve your actual uh, permit. So I'm gonna actually stop right here on this video and then we're going to roll off into part four the next time around. So if you guys have any questions out there, hit me up on my email broker at managetrans.com. Go visit my website, www.extraordinarymovement.com. Go get your 30-day free trial with DAT. Go sign up with Tavs Trans and Financial Services if you guys are looking for a factor service out there. CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.